green and misty, home to a nation of musicians and singers, famous names like Tom Moore, John McCormick, Carmel Quinn, Miriam McKeeba, Tito Gobby, Frank Sinatra, hang on, hang Sammy on, not Davis Jr. Irish. Sammy Davis Jr. isn't Irish. He isn't? Well, it says here he is. Look, Sammy Davis Jr., the three degrees. The three degrees? They aren't even green. Here, let me see that. Neil Armstrong. It's big name of Brzezinski. This is all rubbish. Who writes this stuff? Um, here, Kieran, can you stick on a track while we sort this lot out? Um, try, try loneliness from the album. Oh, and, and listen, Kieran, you can you can edit this lot out, can't you? Yeah, edit no problem. Listen, bring in the rays of light, would you? Sorry for the silly introduction. We've thrown away the script writer and uh, we're going to busk it. Well, why don't we just sit around, introduce ourselves, say a little bit about the music and, and then tell a bit of a yarn about the, the, the story. That'd be the simplest thing. Brilliant answer. Uh, good then. Well, off we go. Let's introduce ourselves. My name is Jim Lockhart. Johnny Fane. Eamon Carr. Charles O'Connor. And last but least, Barry Devlin. Right, well, that takes care of us. And here to tell you the name of the album, just the name, please, Father, is Father Loquacious O'Blather. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, boys. I am very glad to have this uh, opportunity of speaking to today on the, uh, on the, on the wireless or uh, with the satellite to, to this mis the American uh, Mr. Jocks. Yes, it, uh, my name is O'Blather, O'Blather, Father O'Blather. And uh, you know, I'd like to address a few words to you, just a few thoughts that have occurred to me about the perils of your profession with the, the people from the music business and uh, generally a fairly bad sort. Uh, I would I'm like to... Good. The name of the album is actually The Man Who Built America. Good show. All right. All right. That's what it's called. 
But who is this man who built America? Well, he's every man. He's the guy who built the railways, the guy who sailed the ships and ploughed the land. He's Buzz Aldrin, he's you and... Buzz Aldrin? Well, no, he's not really Buzz Aldrin as such. But the album is about everyone from Ireland who ever got on a boat and went to look for the promised land. As the quotation on the album sleeve says, We bade farewell to land to shore since fate had forced us to go. That's really great. Say, why don't we try that in Irish? Dog more slan, tala more crown on egan. Why don't we try it in Russian? Yet was Luga, yet was Rabbi. the seas to Ireland. How are you? I'm being Crosby's cousin, you know. Uh, you'll certainly end up in a pub. Why is it down there now, will you? E- equally certainly, you'll hear a session of traditional uh, Irish we music. We'd have to try a bit of a rebel song now to show our versatility. I throw a cube and a fucking league. Sorry, uh, uh, wrong pub. Well, at least we've got a drink. Let's, uh, there's another pub down here. Let's, let's try that. Yes, that's it. It's an Irish tune called Fade in the Rose. And we've taken it and we've used it as the basis of a song called Green Star Lana. And this is what it sounds like. Oh. Another bar. Uh, yes, of whiskey, please. That tune is called The Lark in the Morning. Thank you, yes, double, yes. Uh, that, that's how it's played here. Uh, this is how it's used on the horse album.
marvellous the way they take the Irish traditional music and incorporate it into the rock idiom. Very cunning. Oh, yes. Uh, let's, let's try this pub here. It's, but there's no, but there's music. no music in there. Uh, yes, there is. There is. The music of the beer trickling into the glass. The song of the whiskey as it warms the heart. The silvery tinkle of champagne bubbling in the night sky. Last question. Uh, do you know what Pogue Mahone means? <laughs> 